Hello, my name is Russell Nash, and there can only be one. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. And today we're discussing because there can only be one. Who would be the winner for the pro segment among all the camera brands? We have several, several serious cameras competing for the same position. We have the Sony A1 and eventually Mark II will be released next year. We have the Sony, we have the Canon R1, which is expected to be released next year and they're leaking information for the last two years and so any moment will be a good one we have the nikon z9 that has been around for quite a while but just received an update we have the leica sl3 coming next year we have many other options so who would be the real winner for the last decades we saw mirrorless cameras trying to catch up with Sony because when they introduced the phase detect they were all so brilliant and it was a technology that nobody else had and so it made the difference plenty of photographers switched to Sony because if you are a wedding photographer that's one thing less you have to take care of right if you are a sports photographer it's one thing less you have to take care of if you are a wildlife photographer guys you can have G Master glasses and use the IBIS and the face detect for Sony. So this was the status quo 10 years ago. And then eventually the other camera brands had to catch up. Canon was the first one to catch up for the face detect, but then it was a bit stuck in there. They released a few cameras, they were not so clear in what and how make the difference. And then at a certain moment also Nikon was able to catch up and they released the Z9. Z9 that we like also very much because it's a great camera and because it has a great battery because finally it has faked the tat. They also got rid of the mechanical shutter but finally the real differentiator for Nikon is that they were able to deliver auto capture and pre-release so auto capture for many kind of photographers would be a very good help you don't have to set up the movement trap anymore if you are shooting wildlife and it has so many different utilizations that will allow you to take shots that otherwise would have been much more difficult without that and also pre-release meaning that when you start focusing on your subject even before you push the shutter button to the very end the camera is started starts recording images for you and so eventually you have a bunch of pre-recorded images to have a look at after that how can other camera brands innovate the canon r1 is rumored for a couple of years now and it is also rumored to have the global shutter implemented not that it would be a dramatic change compared to a BSI stack sensor but if you're having global shutter what does it mean it means that finally we would not have any more any limitations in syncing with the flash at any given shutter speed and so it would be finally back to the same gain that we were used to have with the SLR so that would be a game changer for many of us for many pro especially in the fashion and in the portrait photography sector and the Canon R1 is also rumored to have quad pixel autofocusing and so it would be different from the quad barrier it would be a better and enhanced version of the face detect quad recognition that we are having right now and so Canon see guys camera brands are start differentiating and adding that certain something here and there Panasonic Fuji they also have beautiful cameras with 4k recording with face detect I'm referring to the Panasonic S5 Mark II or the Fuji X2S they are very good cameras they have eventually internal ventilation to dissipate the heat so they will not have overheating which is now affecting the Nikon Z8 but the question here guys is what will the Leica SL3 deliver is it simply using the same technology that we're having in Panasonic at the moment but it will be released 
one year later, 18 months later. And so it needs to add that certain something also to justify the choice because otherwise we will only all of us purchase Nikon Z9s or the Sony A1 uh, Alpha 1 Mark II that is going to be released next year. So the Leica SL3, apart from the beautiful L mount glasses, how will it be a game changer? I'm very curious to see it. I will be start monitoring all the rumors, same thing that I did for the Leica Q3 and in the very end it was just a fun game and it was a fun journey that we played together. We're doing the same thing here on the channel for the Leica SL3. So if you have any rumors, anticipations, any leaks, please feel free to reach out. If you had any value out of this video, please remember to like it, share it on your social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come and I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye bye.